in this section we are going to talk about the purpose of pipe supports right so how we are going to cover this section if you go to this link you can get into more details but in this section what we are going to talk about is specifically the purpose of pipe supports here you can see a few of the multiple choice questions are there you can attempt the quiz uh, if you go to this link there are seven questions multiple choice uh, options are there and then you can look into the answers and explanations also so there are similar uh, topics which have been uh, covered here so let us start with the purpose of pipe supports we are going to talk about 10 different uh, purposes especially related to pipe supports so as we all know the pipe supports they really play a vital role at the same time they ensure the safety and integrity of piping systems so first out of these 10 uh, purposes first one is they these pipe supports prevent excessive pipe stresses you know when the pipes are rooted if you look at this picture this kind of uh, line if it is supported like this then they prevent excessive pipe stresses right because there will be weight of the pipe which will be distributed instead of at single point it will be distributed at different points so they prevent excessive pipe stresses eliminating leaks at joints <clears throat> also there there can be in any pipe system there can be some kind of movements or vibrations which can cause some stresses or fatigue at the joints right indirectly they can lead to the leaks so when these are properly supported these leaks can be eliminated now the third one is absorbing excessive line vibration as we talked about this thing uh, for example pumps or compressor piping is there there can be some vibration right which indirectly can damage the whole system so pipe supports once they for example there are different type of hold down uh, supports rest guide anchor axial supports they can restrict these vibrations up to certain level so that means they are absorbing or they are preventing the vibrations in the overall system then if you talk about uh, the fourth one that is countering the effects of dynamic uh, loading here also there can be seismic events wind water hammer slug flow and other dynamic loads within the piping system once these are supported properly these kind of dynamic loadings can be controlled right so that means these pipe supports help us to restrict these forces and protect the piping from damage fifth one if you look at the preventing unintentional disengagement right these piping supports within any piping system they help to keep the piping securely in place they don't allow the piping to move in any direction which we don't want that means it prevented from lifting off or moving away from the supports that way it is adding stability into the piping system this kind of unintentional disengagement may happen when we are talking about overhead piping or piping with high pressure right so there these pipe supports help us to prevent the unintentional disengagement sixth one is limiting excessive pipe sag which is the topmost if, if you look at uh, uh, this picture maybe just imagine there is another support after six or eight meter or ten meter uh, span that means we are avoiding the sag between the two supports these two support will avoid uh, the sagging in the pipe so this is again a very important point sagging it limits then there is seventh one that is protecting elements from extreme temperatures right this is when there are high temperature uh, inside the pipes these may uh, expand the pipe right so these supports can help us to isolate the piping from these temperatures and protect them within the system from damage so expansion also we can control 
especially for high temperature uh, services then limiting movement to protect sensitive equipment there may be some equipment we, where we don't want any uh, expansion in a particular movement uh, particular direction so these supports help us to limit the movement in any direction or in some particular direction that way we can protect the equipment so that means we can say these pipe supports are helping us to protect the sensitive equipments ninth one if you look at is the redirecting thermal movements when we are dealing with high temperature there can be expansion or contraction in the system in the piping system so these pipe supports are designed in such a way so that these expansions uh, these pipe supports they direct this movement in a controlled manner we uh, try to allow these movements in a particular direction with the help of pipe supports so that way these are redirecting the thermal movements Tenth is uh, like uh, reducing excessive loading on supports. Right, once we know the pipe spans, the line size, the loads, then we can place these pipe in such a way so that the loads are distributed efficiently. That way, we can say these are preventing from being overloaded, and indirectly we will prevent the piping system to fail. So these are the ten. parameters which are there in any uh, piping system with respect to pipe supports which defines the purpose of pipe supports in piping system so stay tuned we will discuss uh, next topic in next video